All right, hey there, YouTubers. This is Chris from Cod for Lovers, and I'd like to be showing you where to get and how to get an N64 emulator for your PC. I will leave a link in the description for where to get the download and where to get the ROMs. So, yeah. And, all right, first what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to open up your internet. You may see some flashing on the screen for just a second but after that what you're going to do is you're going to need to go to the website emulator zone dot com which will be in the description um, but after that you're going to go down in the emulators list and click Nintendo 64 you're going to go down and click project 64 there's going to be two project 64's project 64 1.6 and project 64 K 0.25 um this is the unofficial version so you're going to need to click project 64 1.6 you're going to save that file and once you've done that you double click it and you run it it's going to you're going to go through the installing process and there's not really anything big to do just finish and that's it for me yours will take a little bit longer because it's going to ask you to set a destination folder but i've already done all that so what we're going to do is we're going to go to coolrom.com this is where we're going to download all of our files to run on the emulator so we're going to go down to the ROM files and Nintendo 64 once we do that we're going to click whatever game we want let's say I want Super Mario 64 oh my bad but let's say we want Super Mario 64 you're going to wait five seconds for it to allow you to download it and once that happens you save the file should not take long at all to download and while we're going on at this uh... go down to the bottom left of your computer and open up the search program so you can search your uh... project sixty four and type in project oh, put projector but um put project and you should see project 64 and it'll be a pj it'll say pj and once it does that just click on it and it'll ask you to do your language but i've already selected the language mine is of course english and what you're going to do after that is the rom that you've gotten you're going to need to open the containing folder and you're going to need to extract that file and you I'm gonna extract to my desktop just cuz of this alright you can full screen it by clicking the escape button but I'm not going to full screen it because if I do the camera goes completely black I have learned that from past references and do not want that to happen again so you're going to click file open rom it'll let you go through your computer and select wherever you saved it alright and you're gonna look for the file super mario 64 that's what i have alright there we go now you have it running and i will show you gameplay i cannot full screen it unfortunately but you should be able to see it just fine and see you can still interact with them your main keys are going to be z x and c um but uh... you also have shift and enter click enter as your start button click x to select your save data and uh... yeah you can't hear the noise right now but this game has no problems with its audio none of the games will unless you have a bad file you should have no problems I don't even have problems with any of the games on my laptop so you shouldn't have any problems at all 
But as you can see, the game is running. It is running really smooth. It'll always run smooth. I've played GoldenEye on here. I've played Perfect Dark Zero. I've played Donkey Kong 64. I've played Paper Mario Conquer. And if you like, if you like really messed up games, Conquer is the way to go. If you like a big monster made of shit throwing shit at you, and that actually sings a catchy tune, tch, that's your game. Um, but yes, as you can see, it's running perfectly, and there's n no problems, no latency at all. In fact, you can actually go click on system, and you can load up cheats. There's cheats for every game, pretty much. Like, see, you can click F9 for 255 coins, Mario's cap, and there's lots of stuff, like infinite energy and breath, infinite lives... You can have debug mode, level select, turbo running. Yeah, but yeah. As you can see, it runs really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, as you can see, it runs really, really well. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped. Uh, don't forget to comment or subscribe, and we will be opening up a channel soon that will be a whole lot bigger than this one. We will be starting a gaming community. We will also be putting way more videos up, better quality, tons better quality, way more videos, and... They will be more adapt, and we will get back to you every time, and if you want us to review something, review a game, like any new games, like Fear 3, Duke Nukem, Demon's Forge, anything, just tell us, um, we can do it, we can also show you other emulators, we do all systems, PlayStation, Dreamcast, Xbox, all of them. Just uh, send us a comment, subscribe, whichever you want. Uh, I hope this video was good to you. And as I said, I'll leave the link in the description for both the ROMs and the web website to get the emulator from. Uh, if you follow all my steps correctly, you should be fine. Um, Alright, I hope you enjoyed this video. And...